Hey guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica, and I'm super excited to have you join me today as we have a super quick and easy sublimation project for you. Now, if you like sublimation projects, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. That way you're always notified of our latest and greatest videos. But for today, guys, we are making a faux wood stocking tag using sublimation. All right guys, so here we are in Silhouette Studio. And you know, I always do all of my sublimation uh, design setup and creation here. I really love it. I think it's very user friendly, but I'm a little biased because I've used the software for so long. So a lot of the concepts that we're going to apply today are concepts that you can use in other types of software. So just follow along and then adapt it for what you need. But what we're going to do is create a template that's going to fit a sublimatable tag that we already have. And then we're going to set up a sublimation to that design to fit our faux stocking tag. So super quick and easy and very easy to duplicate. I'm only going to do one for you today, but of course you can do this with any shape and size. And it's really just easy to make a whole bunch at one time because it's just that quick. So let's get started. We're going to go ahead and import first a piece of background pattern clip art. So we'll go to file and merge. And of course, what we're working with today are these wood backgrounds. Because if we want to mimic, or what I'm trying to mimic today is the fabulous laser cut stocking tags, which of course are truly amazing, but I also want to adapt it for sublimation. So we're gonna import a darker background. That way it'll almost look like it's a nice dark stained piece of wood. Now these come in a little bit large, so you may have to give it just a minute. And then of course we don't have to size it just yet. We just want to go ahead and have it here. Now next we want to go ahead and create our text. So I'm going to go to text here, click on my work area and I can type out anything. I'm just going to type out a name. And then of course with our text style panel, I can choose any font that I want to use. Now this is a font that I really like because sometimes these sublimation tags, it can be hard to read the name. So a lot of times I like to use fonts that are skinny. Of course, I can stretch this out if I want. You can also use a nice script font if you want to. Completely up to you. There we go. I like the little heart above here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in in white. And I'll change the outline to transparent. Okay, so next what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create the template for the tag that I'm using today. Now the tag I'm using is actually a luggage tag, but that's okay, it's still gonna be really super cute. I'm gonna draw a rectangle and then I'm gonna use my sizing tool up here. It is four inches wide and 2.75 inches tall. Now, in addition to that, I lose about 0.75 inches for the little loop. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw another little rectangle here. I'm gonna make it the same size, and we are going to say it's 2.75 high and 0.75 inches wide. Now with our alignment tool, we can select both of these, align to the left, and align center horizontally. Okay, so in theory, what we're looking at is the sublimatable part for my text will be this part on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and bring my background over. I'm gonna size it down so I have a nice amount of wood grain in here. I do want to get, and that's why I selected this pattern, I wanna get a nice variety of the grain. I actually really like the darker grain up here at the top. And then what I can do is just select, I'm selecting that outside, circle, outside rectangle and my pattern, go to modify and crop. Okay, now my smaller red rectangle is still here because that's gonna remind me the part that my name cannot go on. Let's bring to front, size down the name, and we can zoom in a little, here we go. Okay, so I don't want it to be too close to my loop, and I also don't want it to be too close to the end. So I'm gonna position it where I want here, horizontally, and then I'm going to grab it, and I am going to align it to the center there. And you know, one thing I forgot to do, let's right click. We need to convert to path to lock that in. And now we will align it. Okay. And basically this 
is my sublimation tag. So I'm going to delete that rectangle over here. I don't need it anymore. Let's go ahead and grab it, group together, and then I can flip horizontally. So now, of course, I can print this. Now my page is a little blank, but that's okay because I can fill it up with other things if I want. Let's go to our page setup menu. We're going to leave our machine at none, cutting mat at none. Our media size will go to letter, and we will turn on our print border. And now I can line this up here in the corner, and then like I said, anywhere else, any other designs I want to bring in and print to utilize my paper, I can. But we're going to go ahead and print this out. And we're going to do a quick and easy sublimation for our quick and easy stocking tag. All right, guys. So here we are. This is our little sublimation print. Real simple, but cute and easy. And then this is the tag that we're using today. Like I said, this is actually a luggage tag or a bag tag, however you want to look at it. Um, it is double-sided, so you could do both if you want. I'm just going to turn it over and line it up with my print. Make sure it's centered because my text is centered and this is the um, circle, the oval that I was worried about making sure that my text doesn't interfere. But my text is centered, so as long as my bag tag is centered, my whole design should be centered. Now I've already preheated my Cricut Easy Press. It is at 400 degrees and it'll be 75 seconds. So we're gonna create our little sandwich here. Drag my Easy Press over and give it a press. And that is our faux wood stocking tag. All right, we're gonna get this trash out of the way and I'm going to allow this to cool. And then I have some ribbon that we are going to go ahead and attach so that we can hook it onto our stocking. All right, so this next part, we need a pair of scissors. And I have two different kinds of ribbon only because this bag tag loop is rather large. So I thought a larger ribbon to feed through it would be cute. So what I'm gonna do is just cut off a length of ribbon. And then we have a smaller ribbon to serve as an accessory. So what I'm going to do, what I do with my stocking tags is I go ahead and loop them when I hang my stocking. So they hang just like this and that would be just fine. You tie it at the end and there you go. But what I thought was going to be even cuter, you know what, let's go ahead and tie this off. Give myself a nice knot at the top. And then of course we can trim and you can heat seal these ribbons too. Okay, just a cute little ribbon at the top. And then what I thought would be cute, we're gonna take another length of this thinner ribbon and I'm gonna push this all the way to the base and I can give myself a cute little bow too. So completely up to you. It's probably not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, but I do like adding cute little bows. You can also um, like hot glue this on. You don't necessarily have to tie it like this, but now we would have a cute little bow at the top. That way when it hangs down, when it hangs down on your stocking, we can trim these. They don't have to be so long. So if you rotate it, one way or the other. You would have a cute little bow at the top of your stocking while this is the part that can loop and hang at the top. And of course you can make this as long or short as you want it to be, but I think it's super cute and easy. You know, like I said, this is um, a faux wood look. Being able to sublimate those patterns is super duper cute and you can make them for the whole family and make them as gifts. So hopefully you enjoyed our quick and easy tutorial today and learn more about different ways that you can use sublimation. So guys, how did you feel about our quick, easy, super simple faux wood stocking tag? Now, like I said, it is super easy to do. Literally choose the background of your choice, add the name or whatever text, Summo made it on. It's a quick print, it's a quick press, and it adds a nice personalized touch to your Christmas stockings this year. Now, of course, if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to help you any way I can. And make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, maybe share with a crafty friend. That way we can keep growing the channel and keep bringing you these really awesome videos. So I am gonna wrap it up for today, guys, but I appreciate you stopping by. It means a lot to me, and we will see you again next time. Thank <laughs> you.